Thank you for tuning in to this National Crokinole Association action. This is the finals from the 2023 Scenic City Tournament, which took place in October, I believe, of 2023 in Owen Sound, Ontario. We have a great finals match here for you as Josh Carf Carfiello and Ron Langle take on the father and son duo of Philip Ware and Oliver Ware. Josh and Ron defeated the team of Ray Beerling and Connor Ryman to get here, and the Ware team of Philip and Oliver took down Jeremy Tracy and Andrew Hutchinson in order to secure their place in the finals. We're off to a good start here as Oliver drains a 20 and Ron Langell is the first to miss. Ron and Josh can be looking to make something happen here, and Josh may have left the door open for Oliver. Oliver and Philip, relative newcomers to the scene. They've been around a few tournaments, but this is definitely a breakout appearance for them, making it all the way to the finals against some really tough competition. And it's shots like that that helped get them there. Fantastic touch 20 from Philip. See if Oliver, uh, very proficient at the follow throughs. Let's see if he's going for the follow through or uh, maybe he's gonna look to roll away. Oh, loses his shooter, unfortunate. Ron Langell unable to make him pay for that. Let's see if Philip lines up for a double or it looks like he's hungry for more 20 action, which he secures. Nice shot. See which option Josh goes with here. He could come up either line, one for the bump and run or this line for the touch. Nice touch moving that disc back away from the center hole. It was pretty much a gimme 20 for Oliver as it sat. Oliver secures the off. At this point, the team of Ware and Ware are up three to two in the 20 cup against the hammer. Ron carefully weighing out his options. Not sure what he's going for here. Oh, so close to the off and the 20. Let's see if Philip Ware can make him pay for that. <laughs> Unorthodox, but effective. Off two pegs on the way in. Unfazed, Josh drains his open 20. Oliver wisely chooses to take the one on the outside and leave Ron with a pretty rotten shot. Weighing out his options, he doesn't like any of them. That is the sign of a great shot and you leave your opponent scratching their head. Nice take out. This point, Philip and Oliver are up a 20, but they are against the hammer with two red discs on. And it will be it will be Josh that has the final shot. So all the team of Josh and Ron are gonna need to do is secure 25 points on the board with their final shot. Feel like we've been here before, not hidden quite as well. Ron drops, oh wow, not hidden as well, but that could prove costly. If Philip is able to secure the off, which he does, pressure on Josh at this point. He needs two off and a 20 to secure a tie. Going for the Hail Mary. Nice double. Yeah, that, uh, I don't like to use the word impossible, but that, <laughs> that was as close to impossible as it gets. Here we see the highlight of Philip's nice touch 20. Very, very smart strategic play by Oliver. I've been very impressed. Very impressed by his shooting skill as well as his understanding of strategy. Uh, especially in doubles, you, you get to hear partners discuss strategy. And that's, because uh, sometimes when you're, you're playing singles and you see a player do something and you're not sure if that's what they meant to do or not, it's so much more, uh, there's so much more transparency of strategy when it's in doubles just because Options do get discussed between partners, and I've been very, very impressed with the decisions that Oliver makes. Ron and Josh go up two 20s to zero against the hammer. Oliver comes up a little long on that one. See what Ron goes for here. That is not what he wanted. My guess is he wanted the off and to get away, but not leaving Philip with great options here. He's gonna be forced to go for a follow through likely. 
good push, and his reward for that push is now Josh has not a gimme, but a fairly a fairly friendly 20 there for him. And the double, nice shot. This round is getting out of hand. They're up three to one in the 20 cup, four to one in the 20 cup. Oh, a little bit of a super Steve on Phillip's part there. Ron and Josh extend their lead. Now up five 20s to two. They're still not mathematically out of this, but it's getting pretty darn close. There he finds his range, nice shot. Josh drains another one. They are down four 20s and they have four shots left. So they need four makes and three misses out of Ron and Josh. Yeah, that seals it right there. These last few shots inconsequential. That will knot this match. This race to nine points will be knotted up two points, two points, also known as a tie. <laughs> see some highlight shots out of Josh here. I'm guessing we're gonna see this right here, this double takeout 20, money shot. I thought he was set up for a 20. I did not see the double, great shot. Starting round three, Philip first to act, goes just a tiny bit long in that open 20. Tough way to start a round, but lots of ammunition left. Josh doesn't love the leave, weighing out his options. See what he goes for here. Nice roll away, although he does give Oliver the option. Oh, that was so close. The angle was basically perfect and just a tiny bit off on the weight. Oh, speaking of. Mistake from Ron, opens the door. Mistake from Philip. That red disc lives. Here the players discuss the options, whether they would just want to peel. No, they chose not to peel. Let's see what Ron does with this. He may look to roll to the far side of the board. Nice shot, making Phillips' life a little bit uncomfortable as he has to not only find his way through the pegs, but he has his own disc in the road. Oh, oh he might, okay, he must have just nicked his own on the way by. Very unfortunate. Very much a veteran shot from Ron there, putting, uh, putting Philip in the position where it drew an error out of him, quite a costly error as they lost both of their discs. That was, uh, that definitely changed the, changed this round significantly. Now that button is still there waiting for Philip. There's no, uh, doesn't have his own button in the way, but still a tough shot through Hogan's Alley. Doors open for Josh to drain a 20. They are in a good position here now. Ron and Josh with the hammer, up a 20, got play on the outside. It doesn't get much better than that. See, oh, although Philip is able to draw play back into the middle, Josh gonna look to roll out, a, oh, I thought he was gonna look to roll out, he went for the 20, hungry. Philip, or sorry, Oliver going for the follow through, Ron getting his head in the way. Yep, looks back at the camera. Not only did he stick his head in the way, he didn't even make the shot. Come on, Ron, one or the other, one or the other. <laughs> See if Josh goes for another 20 here. No, he's content to hit and stick. Very good. Oliver maybe ought to get a 20, which he was very close to getting, but he wasn't going to get the off and the 20 from that position, which was what they needed. Another two points to the team of Ron and Josh. This here, that shot right there was the TSN turning point of that round. Josh first to act in this fourth round. Lips out just a little bit. Although does not leave Oliver with great options. Could go for a follow through up the line to his right. He could go for a touch up the line to his left. There'd also be the follow through right dead center on, but very, very tough shots.
wisely taking his time, considering all his options. Went for the touch, didn't get it, but they're still not in bad shape, although he may have set Ron up here. He did, yeah. It is always best to not give Ron any sort of a sliver of a door opening because uh, he has a tendency to walk through that sliver. <laughs> One of the great things about Crokinole is the fantastically odd setups that you get. Josh chooses to leave that because he doesn't feel that Oliver will be able to do anything with it. It's like they're playing hot potato. Everybody's looking in the middle going, I don't want to deal with that. You deal with it. <laughs> Ron is definitely going to want to deal with it because if he doesn't, uh, Philip has just a nice, not an easy shot, but a nice setup that he would likely be able to create a 20 with. Interesting situation here as the father-son duo has the hammer advantage and they just tied up the 20 count. I may be a little biased, but I think it's pretty cool when a father-son uh, get to team up and play the greatest game on earth, uh, especially if you do well. I mean, uh, yeah, hanging out with your, hanging out with one of your children is always good, but if you can get in there and compete and have a great day together, that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty special. So it was a lot of fun watching these guys do well. Nice 20 by Philip. Well done, putting the pressure on these guys. Tied in the 20 cup, at some point, Oliver and Philip are going to want a double takeout. And they also want to not create any opportunities for Ron and Josh to create another 20. See what Ron goes for here. He might be getting a little greedy going for the bounce back. Oh, good bid. That may have been his only option. That was posted so well, he may not have felt like he could get the off. And really, no harm, no foul. Sometimes you go for that shot, you can end up setting your opponent up, but he absolutely didn't. But the double was there. Unfortunately, he lost his shooter. <laughs> Oliver and Phillips still in slightly in, advantage, in the advantage in this round. The advantage just got more significant here as Josh didn't get the off or the 20. With the hammer, two buttons on. Ron content to hit and stick. He's trying to keep play around the middle there. Philip goes for it. That was close. We'll see what... It's hard to tell from this angle what kind of a shot Josh has. Looks like he may be opting just to take the one on his side to get rid of that. Roll in. He's putting, uh, putting the pressure back on Ron to make something big happen with his final shot. Each player around the board has one shot remaining. Going for the angle in. Tough angle, let's see what he can do. He gets in and he's posted. That's an interesting spot. The plot thickens. If Oliver's able to secure the takeout, which he does. Now Ron's gonna be looking for a double takeout and a 20 or get himself posted in an awkward spot. If he secures just a single takeout, if he had just got a single take of 20, then all Philip would need would be a valid shot. Now all he needed was the touch, really. That was a good battle. That uh, good strategic battle. Some 20s there, but not just a straight up 20s race. Always more fun when you see a little bit of a chess match going on on the board. Oliver first to act. They're tied up four points to four in this race to nine. Ron makes him pay for that. Nice little bit of a follow through 20 there. Philip evens up the 20 count. Oh, misses just slightly again and leaves the door open for Ron. Oh, back flip and stick, but no 20. Oh, wow. These players are too generous. They're just giving each other gifts back and forth. Josh, unable to secure that 20.
great follow through by Oliver. I think he was gunning for that 20 and he almost got it. See, Ron's probably set up fairly well here. He goes for this follow through. He's also gonna have his own disc that may help guide his into the center. Going for it. Nice. Yeah. He likely would have been able to secure that even without his own disc there, but that his own disc sitting there was a bit of insurance. A little bit of a little bit of a guidepost, like the bumpers in the bowling alley. That was a fantastic rollout by Josh. Rolled all the way out into the five. Oliver chooses to peel, knowing that this will force play back to the middle. He got the mistake he was looking for out of Ron. He's saying, come on, Dad, get me that follow-through drift 20. But that's more likely for a 20, right? And we're down two, so we need that. Nice. Nice touch 20. The off would have been even better, especially with him, with Josh doing that right behind you, canceling out that 20. Going for some action there. Got lots of action off the pegs. Door open again. If he's able to secure another 20 here. Nice try. Josh content to stay on the outside. Let's see if Oliver, he may. That's going to be a thin, oh yeah, he had to go for it. Very good choice for sure to try to go for that. Josh left that present for his partner. Ron does not disappoint. Securing another two points going up six to four in this race to nine. Some great shots on both sides here. Ron first act with an open 20, getting right out of the gate, putting pressure on the opponent. Nice shot by Philip, evening things up in the 20 cup. Let's see if we can go around the world here. There it is. In this situation, nobody wants to be the first to miss. Oh, just a little bit too much power on that. Let's see if Josh is going for the drop back off of this. If he gets it, he gets the off and the 20, putting them up four to two. They are against the hammer, but they're still in pretty good position here, being up 220s. Oh, Ron looking to roll away. I don't think he meant to go that far. Let's go back to the start. Nice. Cutting that deficit to one. Josh extends it to two. Oliver comes up just a little bit short. There's the roll away Ron was looking for. Let's see if Phillip's able to utilize a peg to try to bring this, no, okay. I think that's what he was gunning for. He wanted to bring play back into the middle to try to create an option. He may have gotten it though as Josh goes a bit long on his open 20 bid. Again, Oliver wisely taking that extra second to get himself set. Nice, it pays off. Cutting that deficit back down to one. Ron extends it to two. These guys just won't let up. Mm. So close. Josh likely looking for the off in the 20 here. He gets it. Going up three 20s, that pretty much seals it. We need misses out of Ron and Josh, which we do not get. There's the nail in the coffin right there. Inconsequential shots at this point, but at this point it's just practices for the next round. The team of Ron and Josh goes up eight to four in this race to nine. Philip and Oliver with their back to the wall for this round. The race to nine, all that Ron and Josh need is a tie in this final round to secure a point would be enough to win. Philip starts out putting pressure on with an open 20. Josh taking a second to reset, drains his 20. Philip, sorry, Oliver goes all the way through the house. Unfortunate miss. Let's 
It's maybe a little little bit of finals nerve showing up here. I'm not sure. But uh, Ron and Josh both have a decent amount of experience in pressure matches. Nice roll away. Got the off rolls outside of the house. Phillip's going to be looking to bring it back in a little bit or at least stay in between the pegs. He pulls it back in. Well done. Josh rolls it right back out, says, no, you don't. Let's play out here, please and thank you. See what Oliver's going to look for a push through. That was a nice push, just a little bit offline. Ron will likely look to just stay on the outside. Oh, makes a bit of a face. I think he's okay. It's a, it's a tough spot for Phillip. Keep him play inside, keeping themselves in this hunt. If it, gets, if it gets all the way on the outside, then Ron and Josh are very much in control. Oliver may feel this is the time to go for it. Needs an off and a 20 to put some pressure on. Oh, what a great bid. Just a little off, and sadly, this is sometimes the prize you get for a near miss. Your opponent gets a 20. They are, uh, they've got their back to the wall now. Cutting the deficit to one, but they are against the hammer. Josh extends the lead, 420s to two. Oliver keeping a bit of pressure on. Unfazed, Ron drains. That seals the deal at this point. Fantastic final match, great showing by both teams. Great 20 shooting, great strategy, a lot of fun to watch. Thank you for tuning in, like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Make sure you're checking out all the other coconut action that is coming your way. Thanks for watching, make it a great day.